Now we are going to be making some absolutely delicious pumpkin scones. We are going to start with a middle-sized pumpkin that you are going to need to split in half with a cleaver. And it is a lot of hard work to split the pumpkin in half. You need to cut the pumpkin in quarters and place them in a the steamer to steam them until they are really soft. Or you can bake them. Or oh you can microwave or bake them. Now the pumpkin is finished steaming and it's really moist and soft. So you just want to scoop it out with a spoon into a bowl. Then you want to use your fork and mash it. Pumpkin will be really soft and really easy to mash and you're going to need 300 grams of it. So you're going to start with the most important ingredient of all but and just cut it up into cubes. It doesn't have to be really cold. It can be about room temperature or it can be cold up to you. And just chop it up. Okay. Now we're going to do the flour. You are going to need 300 grams of flour. Place about 100 grams of it with wholemeal flour. Now, you're going to need a teaspoon each of cream of tartar and baking soda and half a teaspoon of salt. And now that you have that, you're just going to crumble it up with your hands to break up any of the lumps that are in the baking soda. Then you just mix that up. Here comes the difficult part. You're going to put in 75 grams of sugar. Anywhere from a 50 to 100 grams of sugar depending on your sweetness level. Because pumpkins are sweet, you won't need that much sugar. Now comes the very difficult part and that is emptying your butter in. And then you need to scrape it out. Wonderful. And then you just want to wrap the butter in with your fingers. That's how we do it. Just wrap the butter into the flour. Simply take it and empty it all into the middle of the flour mixture. Then you want to stir it up. You do as you work the flour into your pumpkin. about up to half a cup of milk. To make the mixture really moist, now you're going to need a cutter and a spatula to work your scone dough. It's very moist. Or thoroughly with lots of flour. And empty up your dough, which is really, really, really moist. Like a dry cake dough. Okay, then you want to coat it with an undulated flour. Now that your scones are shaped, you just want to pat them into shape using milk. And the milk will help it brown nicely. And here are the finished, deliciously browned pumpkin scones. 